Uh, welcome Year 7, this is uh, Lesson 3. Um, we're looking here at reading the scale on a range of measuring instruments and you can see here number 1 is a thermometer, number 2 is a measuring cylinder and number 3 is a ruler. All you have to do is look at these measuring devices and read off the values but and and you <clears throat> write the values in in here and in here and in here okay nice and simple that one moving on to the next page we've got estimating and measuring volumes now this cannot be done unless you are in school so when you do come back to school we will be carrying out this experiment so leave this page when the dog and a cat got into a very full bath what happened to the level of the water well it shouldn't surprise you that the water level will rise up and overflow soaking the floor What's that got to do with anything? Well, you're going to try and work out the volume of this marble here. Now, the units for volume are millilitres, centimetres cubed, or litres. There's a thousand millilitres in one litre. Now, how do you think you could measure the volume of the marble using a beaker of water and a measuring cylinder and said marble. Now I'm just going to pause for just a second and you can do exactly the same and think about the following points. What are you trying to do? What did you do? And then see what you found out. Okay, what were you trying to do? We're trying to find the uh, volume of the marble. But what did you do? Well, what you could do is pour, say, 20 centimetres cubed of water from the beaker into the measuring cylinder. Then you add the marble and you get a reading of 22 centimeters cubed all you have to do then to work out the volume of the marble is 22 take away 2 sorry 22 take away 20 gives us 2 centimeters cubed the volume of the marble is 2 centimeters cubed bang nice and easy Moving on to the next, so what you have to do is provide an explanation. Making sure that you're ticking off those three points. So it's an extended piece of writing. Don't forget your capitals and your full stops. And you've got to go through an answer A, B and C. And the ultimate answer is the volume of the marble was two centimeters cubed. Don't forget to put your workings in. Moving on. Ah, a video to watch now. Heating things up, cooling things down. I've got here something called salol, which is a white solid. I'm going to put it into a beaker of water. You can see the beaker's hot. I've just put it up on top of the Bunsen. I've knocked the Bunsen off now. But we've just got boiling water in there. I'm going to swirl this around so it melts a bit quickly, a bit more quickly. And you can see that the salol is melting. It's becoming a colourless liquid <coughs> from the heat of the water. You see it's all melted now. So I've taken the melted salol out of the hot water, so it's now a colourless liquid. 
and I'm going to pour a small amount onto the watch glass and what will happen is because this watch glass is cold the salol will start to solidify and you can see different stages here and eventually you will get back to your original salol solid so you looked at the um, previous video and it says write down what you observed you write down what you observed right here and it is effectively that the white salol crystals when heated up they melted to form a colorless liquid next slide but of course then the salol was poured onto a watch glass and it cooled down write down what you observed the colorless liquid solidified or froze back into a white solid when a liquid turns into a solid it freezes so the salol liquid the clear liquid froze and it returned to its white colored solid state you've got a homework to do now and it's volume working out a volume of an object well let's have a look at box a here what you need to do is measure its length and its width and its height well this is two by two by two and if you times two by two by two that is two cubed and two cubed two times two times two is eight centimeters cubed what you have to do is use box B write down the workings and write down an answer with the right units and you do exactly the same with box C you write down the workings and then write down the answer with the correct units moving on um, write down the correct volumes for each of the measuring cylinders look out cylinder B is this one here isn't it you have to work out what the volume is right there moving on ah right so we are this is a before and after remember it's very similar to the um, measuring the volume of a marble we've got a ball of plasticine before it goes in we've got this volume at the end the volume has gone up you need to work out the volume of the ball on its own and then the experiment is repeated but the ball of plasticine is or has its change um, it's sorry it's shape changed so it's rolled on the table using your hands and then you can obviously figure out the answers to this homework as well and we'll be marking that when we come back into school okay and here uh, we are converting liters into centimeters cubed and you can see here in a one liter actually is a thousand centimeters cubed so you need to just fill in the blanks here and that will be that homework done and finally um, I don't actually have a video to show you of this but if you imagine uh, if you were to put the kettle on at, at your home and then above the kettle you hold a, um, a dinner plate and the steam rises up 
and then underneath the plate the steam starts to cool down it starts to condense you start to get liquid um, water forming now I smelt at 0 degrees C this is called its melting point water boils at 100 degrees C this is called the boiling point when steam cools um, it, it turns back into liquid water and this change of state is called con densing now this is the final part of this lesson when ice turns into water we call that melting when a water turns into steam we can call that boiling or evaporating when steam turns back into water we call that condensing and when water turns into ice we call that freezing the one word that we're missing here when water turns to steam it's uh, boiling or evaporating okay so you could add in boiling there as well and that is the end of this lesson lesson three